So you're not sure whether to pick R or Python. Well, the answer is really simple. It just kind of depends on what your goals are. So first to help you pick, I've got to ask you a few questions. And the first one is a little uncomfortable. Why are you asking this question? And you need to answer this honestly. Are you really having trouble picking one or are you just doing research as a way to procrastinate learning either of them? Be honest with yourself. And if you find that you're procrastinating, here's what you do. Flip a coin. Seriously, flip a coin. It doesn't matter. If you really can't pick, if you can't decide which one's better for you, literally flip a coin and just pick one and get going. You're wasting your time. So if it's heads, learn Python. If it's tails, learn R. Close this video right now and go start. Truthfully, if you don't have a specific goal in mind, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. You're gonna learn all the fundamentals of programming either way. So as a beginner, it doesn't really matter. Just pick one and get going. Now, if you've got some specific goals, there are some things that I can tell you that might help you pick which one to learn. But the real answer to the question of should you learn R or should you learn Python is you should probably be learning both of them. The question shouldn't be whether you should learn R or Python. It should be whether you should learn R first or Python first, because ultimately you're gonna want to know both of them, particularly if you're interested in data science or analytics, which is what this channel is all about. If you can only work with one of the languages, you are limiting your own career options. That's the only thing you're doing. So with that said, let's jump into who should learn Python first and who should learn R first. So first, some of the positive aspects of Python that might make you wanna choose it to learn first. First, Python is a general purpose programming language. So what that means is it's often used for a lot of things other than just data science and data analytics. Second, Python is also often cited as a great beginner language to learn. Third, Python is easier to integrate with different tools. So because Python is a general purpose language, it's often easier to use it in a data engineering pipeline or a web interface or something like that. Fourth, Python is better for deep learning. So Python has a lot of native libraries built by Google and Facebook and things like that that support really powerful deep learning algorithms. Finally, Python is more popular than R. There are more people coding in Python than coding in R. So because of that, there's a larger community out there to help you if you get stuck when you're coding in Python. Now, a couple of cons to Python. First, it's not as good at data visualization as R. It can be difficult to build intuitive and useful and scalable visualizations in Python. So generally speaking, if you're working with visualizations, you might wanna go towards R. On top of that, Python also kind of has a steeper learning curve at the very beginning but in my opinion, this sort of flattens out in the intermediate stage. So if you can get through that first little bit, then it gets a little bit easier. Now let's talk about some of the pros of R. So if you're interested in data science or analytics, then R is a little bit easier to pick up as a beginner because it's a statistical programming language. It's got a lot of the more common machine learning algorithms built in in a more intuitive way, like linear regression, random forest, gradient boosted trees, things like that. Second, cleaning and preparing data in R is a lot easier due to the tidyverse package. The tidyverse is an umbrella term for a lot of individual packages that make it easier to deal with, to clean, to import, and to use and visualize data in R. And a comparable thing doesn't exist in Python. So from a strictly data sense, it's easier to wrangle data in R. Third, like I said before, visualizations are easier in R and they generally look a little bit better too. Now, I do think this gap is closing, I think it's getting easier to visualize things in Python, but I do think right now it's easier and probably a little better to visualize data in R rather than Python. And finally, I think it's easier to share sort of exploratory data analysis from R using a format called R Markdown than it is to do so with Python. Now, Python does have a file format that's commonly used for analysis called Jupyter Notebooks, but in my opinion, R Markdown is more powerful because you can turn your entire analysis into an HTML document very quickly or a PDF and share that with people who might not know how to code, whereas it's a little bit more difficult to do the same with a Jupyter Notebook. Now for some of the cons of R as a language, it's less broadly applicable than Python. To me, that's the biggest con. So if you're looking to get into computer science or data engineering, then Python might be a little bit better. R is also generally thought of as not quite as good for big data problems and deep learning as Python, simply due to less support for deep learning packages. Finally, this is the inverse of what I said about Python. R has a smaller user base, and so it can be difficult to find forums and support for particular problems you might be having among other users, simply because there's less of them. So getting back to the original question, who should learn Python first? 
Well, if you're interested in data engineering or computer science more broadly than just analytics, Python is definitely gonna be the stronger choice. And finally, if you've got some specific tasks in mind that involve things like web scraping or automating parts of your own personal workflow, then in my opinion, Python is a lot easier to implement those sorts of things. So then who should learn R first? So if you're interested in pursuing statistics or economics or academics, in any broad sense and you need statistical programming power, I would say R is a better place for you to start. You're probably gonna see that more commonly used in your field if that's the case. It's also better if you do a lot of data visualization. So if you're a business analyst and your boss is asking you to do some data visualization, but Tableau or Amazon QuickSight or any of these other BI tools aren't really customizable enough for what you need, I would definitely say to give R a shot. I've seen some great, really customized dashboards using R and the Shiny package. So if visualization is a big concern to you, R is a great place to start. And finally, if you prefer a more structured learning approach, definitely, again, R takes the cake here. There's a great book out there called The Introduction to Statistical Learning, which has all of the basic machine learning algorithms and the supporting math theory for those, for which all the problems are completely done in R. And there are a lot of great solutions that you can research online to ensure you're doing them correctly. So if an academic or more structured like textbook approach is something that works really well for you, then R has more learning materials that are sort of in that vein. So even if you fall into one of these categories very neatly, like I said at the beginning, the important thing is to just start learning. And the fact that you're here watching this video means you know you need to start. So don't let that momentum go to waste. Watch this video right here that I've linked on how I learned Python in just 30 days.